We tend to think of the solar system as being made up of the Sun, Earth and our neighbouring planets, but there are also asteroids and comets. Comets are objects made up of rock and ices, and can be anything from the size of mountains to as big as the Isle of Wight. Occasionally the orbit of a comet will mean we can see it well from Earth, and if we're lucky we might get a chance to see a comet from the UK at the end of May. Usually comets spend their time far away from the Sun, travelling through the cold of space, and they are dormant. When they get closer to the Sun, things change. They heat up, the ices start to turn into gas, and jets of gas and dust stream out from the comet's surface. The pressure of light from the sun and the solar wind then sweep the gas into long tails that can stretch for millions of kilometers. In late March, Comet Swan was discovered using images from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and there is a chance you'll be able to see it from the UK. It's fairly bright but fading, so it isn't easy to work out what will happen next, but the best chance of seeing it is in the last week of May. With the help of a pair of uh, binoculars, you should be able to pick it out low in the northwestern sky after sunset. If we're very lucky, it might even be possible to see it with the eye alone. Some astronomers in the southern hemisphere have done this already. But as comet hunter David Levy once said, comets are like cats. They have tails and they do precisely what they want. We don't know whether swan is going to brighten or continue to fade, so we'll have to wait and see. Do take a look if you can. I certainly will. And if you take any photos, let us know. Tweet us at Royal Astro Sock and we'll share your pictures. In the meantime, stay safe and happy stargazing.